What up YouTubers, back on the transit again. Uh, got a few bits and bobs for it. So, first big purchase was the engine, which is a 2.2 TDCI. It's actually a Defender 2.2 TDCI because I want to put the full lumen out of a Defender so I can use it as a test vehicle to test my ECUs. Um, also, I got a Transit Mark 7 2.4 TDCI gearbox. Obviously, they marry straight up, so that's a, a good move. Just got to get the, well, I've already ordered it, uh, prop shaft because I need the donut and the other tripod bit and the, just the front section of the prop shaft because I'm going to be welding that to my Mark 1 Transit prop shaft so got to do a bit of a hybrid job of that um, so I'm going to just do a test fit so got a strapped up on lock and tackle uh, just going to get the little gearbox cross member dropped there and then chuck her in the hole and then uh, do some measurements for mounts and stuff so taking the gearbox cross member off uh, actually discovered that it's been welded as well a little bit just on one of the bolt holes. Near one of the bolt holes, it's uh, where it's had that leg patched up. It's welded it. <laughs> so I'll just cut that off of a little disc and then uh, just drop, drop this little cross member out. Nothing too much, it's not a bad fit actually. It's got a, this pipe, might have to go back a couple of inches, but I've got the Eater Matrix there, which might be a bit awkward. There's a little bit of room there though. Um, them horns, just move them. But it does fit just with all the Defender front end on it, you know, it's slightly different on the Transit. So, yeah, it'll go. Let's have a look at the gearbox. It's nearly level, yeah. It's not far off that. There's a bit of a bracket there, which I've got to take off. Uh, I don't need that anyway. But yeah, she's pretty much there. Gear linkage is a bit close there. Might have to look into that. But yeah, it's in. Test fit, in. So that's not bad, that. Just have a look underneath the front axle. Oh yeah, plenty of room there. That's why I couldn't put the TD5 in because of the axle. But yeah, there's loads of room. I mean, I can go go down a bit, yeah, anyway. Happy days. So yeah, suss out mounts and that now, fabricate something while she's there, do some measuring and stuff. But yeah, I'm glad she fits, so that's all right. Happy days. Last of the sheep having its scran. Likes cakes and sweet stuff now, don't you, mate? So we're having a bit of a heat wave here at the minute, which is good. Better than the normal crappy British weather. So yeah, like I say, she fits all right. Uh, I've ordered this bit here, this section where you've got the steering box for the right-hand drive bolts to. I've ordered a new one off eBay because I'm gonna chop it all out. And I've discovered whoever put the leg on it's a bit cockeyed, so I might even chop all that totally off and start again, or buy another one, because you can get them, but they're a couple of hundred quid. So I've also ordered a steering box off a Mark III, but it's not the auto one, it's just a manual one like that one. Um, so that's on its way, because apparently the, the Mark III, what do have a steering box with the power steering, it's like getting ends teeth, you know what I mean? A proper rare and... I could get one, but the guy wants 750 quid for it. I'm not willing to pay that. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? 
so I'll just have it manual steering um, tried this Ford Focus gear selector on it and it goes through all the gears uh, with, the, with the cables off the Focus as well just had them knocking about um, but the gate going into reverse it hasn't got one so I might just get the one off a of Mark 7 or Mark 8 Transit you know the one which goes on the dash so I might do that because I've got, I've got you know like enough room to put it in there so that's another thing on my list um, been doing some spending as well on Defender looms been costing me an absolute fortune so I've got full Defender 2.2 .2 bulkhead loom and then I've got the fuse box to match. I've had to buy all these separate. I've got the chassis loom. And then I've got each wing loom. And I've also got the headline loom, which goes to the rear door and the interior lights. So that's pretty much all the looms that I need. Because, as I was saying, I want it to be the same as a Defender because I'm going to use it as a test bus for testing my ECUs, the 2.2 ECUs in a Defender because they haven't got nothing to test them in so this will be perfect hence that's why I've got a Defender engine um, so yeah that's all coming together but it has cost me an absolute arm and a leg but it'll be worth it in the long run so I'm going to whip the engine back out again now I've test fitted in and I find out it fits okay so I'll whip her out in and out all the time, mate. There she is again. Back out. So yeah, the, this leg, like, it, it's sort of twisted that way. And I could only really tell from underneath because of the bump stop when it was lying down from the back bump stops out here a bit so I'm going to have a good chopping session anyway and then see whether I'm going to buy a full leg or not so we'll go from there innit yeah that's that Ford Focus cable and gear selector set up so I might replace that with a Mark 7 Transit one then we got Mark 7 front end of the prop shaft with the donut so that'll marry up to my gearbox and I've got to modify that to the Mark 1 prop shaft, so I'll do that as well. So all the bits are coming together. Bit thinner the prop shafts on these though. I'll sort some out though. And my steering box has just come. So that's a uh, right hand driver for Mark 3. So get that chucked on as well. Left hand drive and right hand drive. <laughs> I've got my Mark III steering box on, um, fits alright actually, so I think they're exactly the same actually as each other to be honest, the Mark 1s and 2s to the Mark 3s what do have a steering box, so that's good, obviously the holes aren't there because you know it's not right hand drive this vehicle but I've got this section coming like I said so that's all good, so I'm going to take all the left hand drive bits out now and take the servo and brakes out and everything start transferring them over to the other side and then um, start taking all dash binnacle out and steering wheel and pedal box out and work on converting it to right hand drive Steering box is a difference though, a bit different than the Mark III, it doesn't have a spline on it, so that's one difference. But I had to use some heat in a puller, get the drop arm off, but I think that's pretty normal for an old tranny. So that's off now, get the uh, pedal box off now and the brake stuff and that the servo Th 
throttle mechanism and cable. That's the pedal box out as well. So all steering columns out and instrument cluster and all the pedal box. So I'm just going to take all the wiring out and all the bits off the bottom of the dash, the full loom, a bit of a cubby box area, the glove box area there so I can access where I'm going to be mounting the right hand drive stuff. And then just take all this wiring brackets and loom off underneath here as well. And uh, start weighing up for the right hand drive stuff then. Just looking down the chassis leg now. And you can see it's twisted like the bunt stop there and the front spring hanger. So I'm going to decide whether to put a full leg on it. Might be best really. I think when you buy them they come back to this bit here. Or oh, somewhere near there anyway. But they're a couple of hundred quid. I'll chop it up anyway and have a mess with it. So But I've had a bit of a stripping sash and um everything's out now, all wiring and everything. So I've got access to everything. And then uh chop all this up and then inside I've got all the instrument cluster out, all the wiring. Uh, took the eater box out as well. Um, so I've got access to everything nicely now, ready for doing the right hand conversion. And uh, all crap's in back there. Oh, it's all right, anyway. Got the manual there, so I'll be able to put it back together. Happy days. So yeah, I'm getting stuck into it slowly. So yeah, I've uh, even took the stereo out. <laughs> Check that for an old 8-track, proper old school, not many of them about now, actually works as well. <laughs> There's all the crap that I took out of it. So yeah, that's pretty much it I think for this one. So just a quick update, so thanks for watching, check out my other videos and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>